Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make a twin home, the kind you'd see in suburbs, you know, I guess the more run-down streets usually. It's, it's like basically two houses, you could say, side by side. So what we're going to do first here is just this here. This will be six wide, six by two. Then we're going to have a space of two blocks for the window here. Let's put that in. Put that in. Okay, and then we're basically going to do the same for the second floor. Six wide, two up. And we're going to put in the shutters and the wood. Okay. And the windows. Okay. So then from there, we're going to bring this out by two, make this space for the door. And then, it's getting dark, but brightness is up on max, so let's plop down a glowstone too. Okay, so from there, we're going to build a space for the garage. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to build down here. Okay, and then we're going to start making the roof with this. So we're just going to do do it like this. I you know, I used to struggle with this sort of pattern, I guess you could say, but it's fairly simple once you get the hang of it and it allows you to make, you know, roofs over fairly wide structures without it looking stupid like you know it would if you were to just use stairs. Okay, so let's continue with this and uh, that's usually how I just do that. The three up in the center there. Alright, so now from there we're going to go back 12 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so this will be the back wall of the home, and now we're just going to go ahead and fill this in here. Now, I, I guess I usually just leave the spot blank here, but... Since this is kind of unexplored territory for me, you know, this kind of house, uh, I don't really know where I'm going to take that, so I'll just fill that in for now. I do know that I'm going to leave a space for a window here, where the dining room, dining space, will eventually be. And then we're just going to fill in the rest of it. And, okay. And, okay. Alright. So then we can start working on the roof of this. And <clears throat> let's put this out here. Great for the ink down freeze. Okay. All right, I like that. And then we're going to wait for the game to stop lagging so hard. First of all, it does this sometimes. Since I upgraded to uh, 1.51, they, they promised performance upgrades, and I know I don't have the best of computers, but this is honestly worse than it was before. I didn't get the, you know, random freezes and such, but now I do. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to build the roof of this. Don't forget to, uh, you know, as I was doing there, extend it out to the garage. Cover the garage, I guess I should say. So, let's bring this out here. All the way back. And... Start filling this in. Okay. Alright, so let's see. This in here. I hate the way I pronounce ours. I need to find some way to get around pronouncing them. Maybe take on some New Yorker accent or something. <laughs> Some other thing where the R's are just skipped over or garbled entirely. Yeah. That's just the house, okay. Now I'm just trying to get up so I can fly here. There we go, okay. And continue placing the blocks through the roof here. 
Okay. And this one, last one. And here is the outline of the roof. Sorry if I'm kind of quiet in this. My microphone is like some literal five dollar thing from Office Max, and uh, the setup is less than optimal, and I don't have a whole lot of space for whatever. Yeah, anyway, it's yeah, so now we're going to bring the roof from the garage around to the side here, all the way down. There we go. And with these next couple, we're not going to uh, wrap it around at all because the roof line for the garage doesn't reach up that high. Instead, we're just going to go ahead and build it past where the roof for the garage ends. Fill this in too. Take a quick look out front. There we go. Okay. Lots of lag all of a sudden. I'm getting pretty smooth frames otherwise, but every so often it'll just freeze up like that. <clears throat> Tends to happen if I run Chrome and Minecraft at the same time. <laughs> Plus fraps too. It's like the unholy trinity of memory usage. <laughs> So, <clears throat> that's why everything looks so terrible. Everything's on low settings. Graphics or the draw distance is short, etc. Yeah, so what we're just going to do here, as you can see, and it doesn't require much explanation, is just continue to build the roof out to where, you know, the, I guess, the separation between the two would be. Right here. And... Yeah. So that's really about all there is to this part. It's just building the roof. So what I think I'm going to do is just go ahead and stop recording real quick and then pick back up when I'm done with the roof so you don't have to sit through this. Okay, I'm back and the roof is done. So we're just going to go ahead and bring this down to here and like fill in this. As I said before, these twin homes are kind of unexplored territory for me, so I'm not really sure where exactly the bedrooms and such are going to go. I mean, I have a general idea, but for that reason, I'm leaving this space blank. And it's something I usually do when I build houses. It just, you know, it allows room for expansion, you know, redoing the layout, altering it, whatever. So here, we're going to have two doors leading out to the deck, which is going to be put in, you know, once pretty much everything else is finished. Just going to put this down here, and put in a window, and that's that. Okay, so let's build, you know, the shared wall between the two sides of the house. And this microphone, it's, it's a headset, and I just... I don't know who designed it or what their thought process was, because it absolutely does not fit. You know, it, it's it's uncomfortable even with the the thing. You know, all balls as far as it'll go. You know, it'll sit on your head, but the microphone will be literally like right in your mouth. You know, like it, it's like what was their thought process in designing this? You know, they, did they just test it on some vaguely humanoid head or something? You know, it's like it fit, and they're like, "Ah, eh, it's good enough." I, I mean, I know it's cheap, but I'd like to get a USB microphone, but uh, it's money out of my pocket, so. And I'm still not entirely sure that I like my speaking voice enough to justify spending like 20, 30 bucks on a new microphone. So anyway, you know, enough of that. Uh, what we're doing right now is basically just filling in the ceiling. You know, in the living area, it's going to be a vaulted sort of thing, so it's going to basically follow the roof line as I'm filling it in. You can kind of see here. Yep, and... Uh, Continuing on. Now, if this house, if the uh, if it was an odd width, I would put in, you know, like a a dark wood half slab as something of a beam through the middle. But being that this is an even thing and it would look kind of weird with it on one side and not on the other, 
I decided against that. And it's raining out now, I notice. In the game. And in real life, too. It's raining, snowing. It's been so many months of this. It's, it's, it's the 1st of May, and it... Yeah, I don't know. So what I'm going to do now is basically start building out the garage. And uh, I guess that's just like the main entryway there. I'm going to put some alternating wood uh, blocks in there to make a tile sort of effect. Yeah, it's going to look nice. It's going to look nice. So let's continue with this. There we go. And then we'll build the ceiling in here. Do that. And fill this in. Okay. Alright, so I guess the tricky thing with these twin homes is figuring out where exactly the bedrooms go. Actually, it's not that tricky in this case, but I like to have, you know, each room in the house, if it's a bedroom, have at least one exterior facing window at about eye level. So I can't really cram them in, you know, right in that little nook or anything. So what I'm going to do is follow the formula that I think the real ones follow, and just have one up and one down. One bedroom upstairs, one downstairs. So speaking of downstairs, uh, well, let's see. Let me just first rough out the spaces for the rooms, and... Okay. I think that's sufficiently big. Let's put that in the middle. Scoot down a bit. Oh, okay. And that, and that, and that. Put the window in here, and the window down here. You might be wondering why I don't have any sounds on. Well, sounds only make the game game lag even harder, and that's not a good thing. I I wouldn't want the sounds on if I were watching at home and it made the video run at like half the frame rate it already does. And plus, they're all trippy and skippy, and that's weird. Okay, so we're just gonna fill in the ceiling for the bedroom here. That's not gonna be vaulted because I don't think I've ever seen that before in a bedroom. And fill this in, fill that in. Okay, fill this in too. Okay, so I'm going to. Well, let's see. Let's. You know, let's. Yeah. yeah, I guess I'll just put this here and. So this will be the main entryway. No, I suppose yeah, I should just put this here. Okay, so let's fill in the aforementioned tile soda pattern. And yeah, so let's just do alternating dark wood and light wood. Put in the door here. Looking pretty good so far. Even though it's only half. It'll be whole soon enough. So let's put those in there and build the stairs. Usually the downstairs one is on. Well, it really varies house to house. Let's just go ahead and make this one going up. And choose one of these colors. Let's go with a dark one. And there we go. This leads upstairs. And this downstairs. Place these two. And except for an extra touch of spiffiness in this little entryway, I'm going to use the nether fence here. It's something of a filler, I guess. It's kind of fancy. Not really. And, yeah, okay, well, we're going to put that up as a handrail, too, on the upstairs end. I think, yeah, it should be good. Okay, now I'm going to stop the recording again so I can basically dig out all of this stuff. Well, I guess before I do that, let me... Let me make a space for, I guess, the sink, you could call it. The sink, a way of throwing away unwanted items. We're just going to do this in sort of a triangular thing, going down to this second block of dirt. 
put the glowstone in here as I usually do fill this in. This will basically be a part of the kitchen. As I said, you know, kind of like a sink, place to dispose of your items without bringing up that little menu, etc. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, that doesn't go up that far. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to break the recording to dig out all of this real quick, and once I've done that, I will be back.